A very warm welcome everyone, my name is Nick and we're looking at a Doctor Who sort of like rip-off. This one's called Doctor What, yes, on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by CRL Group uh, PLC in 1986. There's a few keys here that I've got to get used to, but it's Doctor Who without the license, so it's not Doctor Who, but as close as rip-off as they could possibly get. So instead of using who, they use what, why, where and when as uh, some other doctors and cl they must collaborate together to solve clues to get out of the place. Now this is Dr. Y, he can jump and um, he can walk along very weirdly. There's the TARDIS next to him, so I believe first of all there's Dr. Watt. First of all between us we have to find the key to get actually into the TARDIS. But it's not called the TARDIS in this, it's called something else, Tridus. Well there's a Dalek, which probably isn't a Dalek, it's probably a garlic or something. Right here we go, Dr. Y. And why did they make this game? I do not know. Go on, Doc. Can't get in the TARDIS at the moment. So you can pick up objects, you can use them. You see there's a space next to my face there in the bottom left. There's three boxes, you can pick up three items. On the right is like a magenta looking marshmallow y sort of character or a jelly man. That is my strength. And if I lose energy, well, there's a key up there. If I lose energy, that'll gradually go down to um, I'm dead. This is Watt's lab. Um, I'm not excited so far. So it's trying to be a game a bit like Finders Keepers or in the vein of the Wally Week games. You're aware of those like Herbert's Dummy Run and Three Weeks in Paradise and Everyone's a Wally. But it's not quite getting there really. No sound, or not too much sound in the game. I think when you pick something up you might hear something. There we go, so that's it. It's the Tridis. Now TARDIS uh, stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space, so it's quite clever. Try this doesn't quite work because I don't know what I don't know what the R and the Y would stand for. Right, we've got a key. Hopefully you now we should be getting to this amazing TARDIS. Uh, this game isn't great, is it, to be honest with you? Ah, uh, it's a little bit boring, but it's holding together well. Oh there's the TARDIS. Try this. Um he's very small compared to the control panel, that looks a bit weird. And there's another key there that side, so what does that do? The TARDIS is supposed to be the most enormous thing ever. This is just a small room in a sort of like a cave thing. But this isn't the TARDIS, this is the TRIDIS, and that's another key. Now, can we get this thing to take off? Yeah, the aim of this game, I don't think I mentioned it, you must try to reach the jelly baby of infinite knowledge, wherever that may be. Oh, look at that! We've, right, we've teleported through time and space. That, that was exciting. Right, Jelly Babies. The fourth Doctor in Doctor Who, he was obsessed with Jelly Babies, played by Tom Baker. Now, for some reason, Doctor What, Doctor Why, Doctor Where and Doctor When have got to find the Jelly Baby of infinite knowledge. What are those things? So there's another TARDIS next door. Can I get in that one? Oh. That was a bit rubbish. Sorry to disappoint you, but this Doctor has come on... Well, he's dead, really. R.I.P. Well, he died quite quickly there. That was weird. Reincarnation is pathetic. Well, you know, I might be on my fifth life already, I don't know. Right, we'll have another few goes in this, but it's not spectacular. It's okay, it's not terrible. Um, but it's just not very exciting, is it? Colour bleed there. It, it's a Doctor Who rip-off. I prefer the actual Doctor Who the proper game. Uh, check that out, I have reviewed that. Takes a bit of getting used to, but it's much more, it's much better than this. We need some noises or some sound. Ding 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 that would have lifted it if they had some music Doctor Who music but I suppose um the licensing they they couldn't do that because they didn't bother with the license CRL Group PLC 1986 the rooms do have names this one's called Cliff Face as we control Doctor Watt the main man look at his hairdo there there's a TARDIS but no key to get in I don't think no we can't get in his TARDIS Okay, looks like there's an object there. What's that? And I don't want to fall off the cliff face. Watch the stone. A box of matches. Now, the only reason to find matches is to set fire to something. Can we set fire to that bush? No. As we become the same colour as the bush, temporarily. Yeah. I don't think this game had a sequel. I don't know what else CRL Group uh, produced. But, yeah. I mean, without the Doctor Who sort of, like, uh, attachment to it, um... I don't think it would have sold anything at all. 
people that bought this probably would have thought they're buying a Doctor Who game uh, and then were actually conned. Wouldn't happen nowadays, or could it? Right, I think I can jump up here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's a way to jump up here, or it's just giving me clues because of a bad coding. It so wants to be everyone's a Wally, doesn't it, really? And the changing of characters is a bit like everyone's a Wally, where you hit a number and then you could be the punk or the hippie, which is uh, that's based around the young ones, I think. You could never be the baby, though, in that everyone's a Wally, but Wally Week was a star, star uh, turn in that. Can't get out that way, can we? No. There's a wall stopping us from getting out. Dr. Watt. He's a Time Lord, I presume. Uh, can regenerate into other people. So who who knew? As well as Doctor Who, there's Doctor What, Doctor Why, Doctor Where, Doctor When, maybe Doctor Maybe, Doctor Foster who went to Gloucester, of course, in a shower of rain. Uh, he stepped in a puddle right up to his middle, and I don't think he went back there again. You might want to check me on that one. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Can we get this TARDIS working? His match is going to get us in. No, man, I'm getting bored again. Yeah, you're best, you're best off with other platform games here. Check out Dynamite Dan or Jet Set Willy. Um, Technician Ted's better than this one. Not much is going on. You've got to solve stuff, to be fair. The Forest with Dr. Wen. And the year, I've oh, got the year next to it. Is that 1996? Right, let's go this way. Through the woods. What could possibly go wrong? Um, right, in the woods still, or the forest. I don't know what the difference between a woods and a forest is. Sorry if I've um, confused you by calling it a, a woods when it really was a forest. But it is a forest, and we don't seem to be going anywhere. Yeah, this is a, this is a cruel trick to play on a kid. You could probably you could probably walk here for like four weeks, can you? Hours and hours and hours, and a kid thinking, thinking he's going to get somewhere, because some kid in the playground played a prank on him and said, yeah, once you get past 99 screens, there's um, there's an object here, the jelly baby's there. And then he'd keep doing it, and it never was there. Yeah, this goes on forever, this bit. Unless it wraps in a circle. Right, this, this, what, this bit looks like there's the most going on, so what's that? That's a baseball cap, and it looks like this is a baseball bat, so maybe we use those to beat up that Dalek. Let's see if we can at least solve some of this. Right, can I use this? Use any of these? Can't get up that ladder. Baseball bat, baseball cap. Throw in the baseball cap. Where's that going? Is that going to do anything? Boom. Um, that's confused the Dalek, it looks. He can't see where he's going. So they're, they're um, a vicious alien of the universe, but a baseball cap over the eye, and they don't know what's going on. Can I walk past him? I bet I can't. I bet I'd die. No, I'm past. So what do we use the baseball bat for, then? We've got this, this, we're in the passage, looks a bit sparse, there's a ladder going down, a box here, whatever that is, our jelly baby man looking quite good, so we've still got lots of energy there, jelly baby in the bottom right, oops, that's Davros, no it's not Davros, it's someone that looks like Davros, but it's not really Davros, maybe it's Bobby Davros, yeah that must be it, can't duck, they're duck you fool! Um, I've always wanted to uh, beat up Davros with a baseball bat, but I don't think that's possible here. Doctor Ware. Ah, right, now we recognise this screen, don't we, from before. So the two Doctors are going to meet up here. Maybe I can leave that guy there, and then, fl yeah, actually, maybe I can leave that guy there and flick to this fella, the other fella. What is it? Hmm, I don't know what to do. I think that might be the right way round. This Doctor Ware seems the most stylish of the four. Yeah, leave him here, and then flick to the other Doctor, and maybe chase, maybe try and do some sort of like collaboration. Right, we know what to do. We need to get the keys, and then we're going to have an amazing TARDIS teleport effect, and then all, all's good again with the world. Is that the right thing to do? I don't know. Now, if you own this game, I'm not sure what other systems it came out on. I'm presuming it was ZX Spectrum only. If you had this game and completed it, then please let me know. Is it worth completing? And what happens at the end? Do all four Doctors uh, just generally just walk off? Or is there some amazing game over sequence, the like that's never been seen ever again? 
Prepare yourself, prepare yourself for a great special effect coming up, and that's by Jove the best bit that's going to happen in this video, I can tell thee. The Tridis. Let me know what that stands for. T-R-Y-D-I-S. Keep it clean, folks. Um. Yes. This is what time travel looks like if you're unsure. Right, now. We should be able to liaise with that other doctor we put on that ladder. There he is. Though those sheep bug things that killed us last time. And they... <laughs> it's killed us again. God knows what's going on in this game, but I certainly haven't got the skills involved. R.I.P. He didn't regenerate, did he? He didn't regenerate. Reincarnation is pathetic. Probably because they couldn't do the effect, I'd imagine. Right, I need to go back to that forest. Oh, normally I'd end it here, but I want to see what happens in that forest if I go left instead of right. It's a go left situation. So who is it? Dr. Wen. Whoops, I missed him. That Dalek gets confused with a baseball cap. We know this. Right, go the other way, Dr. Wen. Right, this is it. Go left. Go left. Duh, 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 duh. Right, that looks like something. What is it? A big biscuit? A big macaroon? It's it's a uh, it's a rock. And what also what happens is when you're walking through the forest and see a big rock, you pick it up and put it in your pocket, don't you? Because it it might prove useful for someone else. That looks like a doorway there. Right, so that, that bit in the middle is a doorway to go to another bit of forest. You can quite easily get lost in this game, I think. And then get bought. Oh, here we go. So it's ain't crawling backward and forward there. What is it, a worm? Did I hear steps? Hopefully that's not steps the pot group. Right, so you've got to do something clever here with a rock, I would have thought. There's two yellow ones, the same. Can I dump the rock? No. Maybe I need to drop down a bit. I need to jump over this thing, perhaps. Oh, I lost energy there. That wasn't good. Um, yeah, I've not got much jelly baby left here. I don't think he can get me there, can he? I'm on the rocks. Oh, God, good. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to leave it there. I'm not that impressed. Uh, there's nothing too much wrong with it. It's just it's, well, it's boring and it's a rip-off of Doctor Who. Well, anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Doctor What, published by CRL Group PLC in 1986. Between this and the uh, real Doctor Who game, play the real Doctor Who game. So thanks for watching, as always. Got any comments about this or similar games, then you're more than welcome to put them below. Always love hearing from you. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.